it's absolutely possible to start with a software project idea, invest into it, and turn it into a real relevant product. I will describe you four development stages. Complete them one by one with your software development partner and turn your business idea into product. Let's start. My name is Alexandra. I'm the head of sales and client care department at Mobidev company, software development company. I've been working at the IT sphere for six years already, and since then I've communicated with hundreds of business people, product owners, product managers. Based on my wide and diversified experience, I will share my vision with you today how to launch a product with a software development partner. Usually how everything begins. Client has the idea and wants to turn it into a real product. Launch the product. Client bases his project on the unique and innovative idea. And actually no one knows if this product is going to be relevant, interesting for usage at the market. The primary goal of client is to test the product with the real users and therefore to reach the following objectives. To launch the product with minimum functionality, fast, inexpensive, and of top-notch quality. And also to receive the feedback from users. Basically, in IT domain, there are things that should be outsourced and there are things that should be only developed and evolved within the client's core team. I recommend to not outsource vision and mission, product management, sales and marketing, strategy. I recommend to outsource promotion, accounting, legal support, and product development. Obviously, to create a product, you need a dedicated team who will perform the development. Another important thing that is always a helper is a patient, result-oriented client with the wish to understand and aid the process. The whole development process is iterative. As usually, client has only high-level idea, doesn't have the written description, and even rough visual materials. The consequence is consulting, design, development, launch and support. Consulting stage usually consists of the following activities. Conduct business analysis, explore your competitors, prepare technical requirements, and decide on promotion and monetization. In most cases, consulting stage output is the finalized project documentation. Product vision, including mission, goals, competitors, target audience, and list of main features, and non-functional requirements, compatibility, performance, security, and localization. The consulting stage is usually non-billable for client. However, client receives very valuable feedback from the highly experienced development partner and specific project documentation. That in its turn is the input for UI UX design estimation. So consulting is done. Why would you need to elaborate UI UX design after that? Design helps to clarify the requirements and visualize the idea. Therefore, the project vision is itemized, evolutionized, and finalized. Also, the design is the precise specification for development. And at this stage, it's necessary to identify the changes that can be implemented for a significantly lower price than at later stages. Design is, first of all, the logic of the product. Therefore, if it's not worked out to tiny details, users won't simply use it, and therefore the client won't have the possibility to receive the feedback. Therefore, the primary goal won't be reached. The perfect start of UI UX design is sketches creation. They should be done easily and quickly. What should be done here? Generate and exchange ideas, explore your target audience, and form a rough logic of the system. What client gets as a result? Rough understanding of the project scope, interaction logic between main units, and sketch-based prototype. Wireframing is the structure of the future product. Usually at this stage, clickable dynamic prototype is created, which demonstrates logic and user experience of the product. What should be done here? Form the detailed logic, determine how it will be implemented, and let's not forget about changes cost. Later, it will be significantly higher. What client gets? Working prototype with all the interface elements, flowchart, and full understanding of the logic. The final step of UIX design is visualization and branding of all the interface elements of the product. The cost of the changes at this stage is extremely high. The development team prepares the estimation for development based on the approved UIX design and project documentation. What should be done here? Brand the product, approve the visual style, 
retain logic and involve a developer. It's very important to involve a developer at this stage. This person must know and understand how the product is going to work and look in order to prepare the estimation for development and therefore to suggest the least time-consuming ways of implementation. What client gets as a result? All source files, full understanding of the logic and appearance of the product, and full estimation for development. Consulting and UI UX design are done. What's next? Development is the most time and efforts consuming step of launching a product. Development stage usually consists of the following components. Architecture creation, functionality and features implementation, meaning divide the full scope into tasks, parallelize tasks, receive a build at the end of each iteration, and testing and polishing. Maintain testing documentation, employ automated testing, perform the final testing, prepare for deployment. There are two main approaches of the product development, fixed price and dedicated team, chosen depending on the client's business needs and product management model. Fixed price approach is the best fit for projects with all the requirements clarified and frozen, where we have the known beforehand budget and timeline, and it requires minimum client's involvement, including change requests. The pre-development process is logically extended. However, the team is crystal clear on the scope of works and has only one focus. Develop and deliver the product according to the predefined schedule. Dedicated development team approach is good for big or complex projects, or when we have only high-level requirements clarified. In this case, we have the predefined budget monthly or weekly for dedicated development team, and we prefer to retain knowledge of the project throughout the development process. Under the dedicated team approach, maximum client's involvement is desired. The primary client's goal is almost there. Client received the functional product ready for launch. Launch and support stage usually includes the following activities. Launch at the external web servers in case of the web applications development and app stores in case of mobile applications development. Receive the user's feedback, evolve the product. Always keep in mind promotion plan, monetization plan, statistics analysis, feedback analysis. Their tools should be implemented within the product itself and externally. The overall key suggestions for me are to plan carefully, to spend budget and time wisely, to trust your software development partner. It's absolutely possible to start with the product idea, invest into it, and receive real relevant product as soon as all four development stages are consequently completed. Thank you for your attention. Stay tuned with MobyDev.